The Bible says to stand therefore in the liberty wherein Christ has made you free. Yeah. How many folks is free in the Lord this morning? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Galatians chapter 5 verse 1 says stand therefore in the liberty wherein Christ has made us free and be not entangled again with the yoke of bondage. They call is to stand fast. And what it means is to persevere. That no matter how hard it gets, you have already prepared in your mind, and I'm not going home. I think this is what hurts some Christians when they first come to say, no one tells them to prepare their mind. They come, whoo, they all have no girls, they didn't even get no girls, but then you know the cat comes. And because they haven't determined in advance, they easily fall back. We have so many stories in the Bible that help us to get an understanding. When you look at the story of the three Hebrew boys, one of my favorite thoughts about that story is when he told them, listen, bow down or I'm going to throw you in the fiery furnace. And I believe that somewhere along the way, they had already decided in advance. I believe they might have talked about it when they were coming down the hall. So we think, Sheriff, like, I don't know, whatever he does, I'm not going to bow. What about you? I don't care what he does, man. I'm on the Lord's side. I'm not bow. What about you, Meshach? Man, you know I got you. I'm with you. We in this together. Before they even got before the king, they had already decided we're not bowing down. Amen. We, we don't care what you do, king. Amen. That's why they was able to expose that when he said, listen, I'm going to throw turn the fire up. I'm going to throw you in the fire. to do what you got to do. And it made the king so furious. Yeah, turn up seven times higher. And he said, well, you know, the God that we serve is able to deliver us. But even if he doesn't, we already made our mind up when we was coming down the hall. That no matter what you do, we're not going to bow down because we belong to the Lord. We're on the Lord's side to stay. I think that's what the word says when it says stand fast. Persevere in the, in the face of difficulty. No matter what's happening to you, make your mind up. Who has a made up mind this morning? I'm really saying, anybody who has a made up mind to really serve God, that no matter what happens, I'm not going to give in. I'm not going to throw in the towel. I'm not going to bow down. I know some folks that have a hard time uh, declaring that because they've got too many things that they like in this world. I don't know if somebody take my car, I might have to have a different attitude. I don't know if I lose my girlfriend, I don't know if I can do it. I don't know if I can make it without my wife. I don't know if I lose my job, it's going to be really hard. You know what? Prepared readiness. Prepared. I want to prepare you. I don't want you to come in here thinking that walking with God is like walking to the, you know, tiptoeing to the tulips. That's not walking with God. Say that. There's a warfare going on. There's a battle going on. There's a war raging. The enemy is furious and angry and mad and filthy and vile. And he does not care. And I really don't care. My mind's made up. Turn up. Turn it up. Turn it up. Or the king, he's going to turn the heat up. <laughs> Things are getting ready to heat up. Are you going to be willing to stand when they decide that they're going to teach homosexual classes in your school when your kids go? Or do you have enough guts to pull your kids out? Or you say to yourself, well, I can't really afford to put them in a private school because I can get my nails done every week. <laughs> <laughs> I would take my kids out and put them in private school, but then that means he can't play football on Saturday. Like football is more important than his education. I know you're coming down somebody's street right now because we did the he is getting ready to get turned up. And we're either gonna stand for the things of God or we're not. Perseverance. 
to continue in a course of action, no matter what difficulty you're facing. To continue coming to church, to continue hearing the word of God, to continue yes, trusting sir. God and yes, walking in yes, faith sir. and believing the yes, Lord sir. day in and day out and morning and noon yes, and night sir. at work, at yes. home, at your family's house, believing God, yes, persevering in the face yes, of God. Paul tells the Galatian church, stand fast in the liberty. Stand fast in the fact that you're free from sin. You don't have to be a sinner no more. Hallelujah. Amen. Recognize you used to be a sinner. Yeah, I did crazy stuff. I broke in people's cars, stole all this stuff. Stole my mama's car, stole her TV, stole her videos, stole her corn collection, stole everything for drugs. But I'm free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Why in the world do I want to go back to that stuff? Some of you step around and step around and step around because somebody said, I love you. Oh, I love you. Oh, I love the tenth person I told you. You should get should catch that. Yeah. It'll be a trick, trigger for you. You love me all the time. I'm going to be with you. <laughs> Sounds like the last nine guys that said the same thing. But we get caught up, My and then God frees us from that yes, stuff. And we feel a little bit lonely, and then the devil sends somebody by, and what does he say? I love you. 